Welcome. In this session, we're going to learn how expired eggs behave differently from fresh eggs when placed in water. And then we will try to explain this scientifically. And this trick is going to help us in future to know how we can test our eggs in order to make sure if they're still usable or not. So I'm going to ask you to be attentive and listen to what's going to happen. Hi. It is a pleasure of mine seeing you guys around today. Today we want to be talking about our eggs here, right? So actually I have no more eggs, the one that we use in our homes, you know, the one that we use in our shops, whatever. So and then we need to know which ones still in good condition, which ones still fresh, and then which one are expired. Okay. So this is a good trick for you to know if your eggs still fresh or are expired. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to put them in water so you can see what's gonna happen, and then after that I'm gonna try to demonstrate it mathematically what's happening for it to be doing what it's doing so let's go i have five eggs okay then i'm gonna put them in this normal water in my tank this is normal water that you can find from a tap you know with normal temperature you know there we go so realize that uh three of my eggs are touching the bottom of my tank and then two of them are on the surface of the water so they kind of floating okay so now i'm gonna try to demonstrate to you why this is happening mathematically okay so let's go a normal egg a normal fresh egg has a density okay of 1.031 gram per centimeter cube agree with me and then uh, this water here as that is for a normal egg a fresh egg a fresh egg and then this water here has a density of 0 0.997 gram per centimeter cube or i can just say one gram per centimeter cube okay and then we all know that if you want to get a density what you do is you take the mass of the egg these are normal size like average size eggs so i can say uh they are between 5 to 65 grams okay i'm going to what they look how they look like and then so what you do is for you to get a density you take the mass of your egg you divide them you divide the mass you divide, you divide it sorry you divide it by the the volume okay so this egg is an elliptic uh, shape we know that the volume of an egg is given by is given by uh, taking 4 divided by 3 multiplying by the uh, transversal size or transversal dimension which I've named B and then multiply it by the tangential uh, size which I've named A and then multiply by the longitudinal size which I've named C and then this multiplied by pi so this is how uh, this is how you get the volume of your ellipse. Ellipse. So the, our eggs have uh, elliptic shape. So now let's go. So why are those ones floating? Why are those at the surface of water? You need to know that expired egg, expired egg release a gas, a gas that we call uh, hydrogen sulfide. Okay, hydrogen sulfide. S. So. It's hydrogen sulfide. So, an expired egg, an expired egg, the gas hydrogen sulfide gas, as a gas, and then we all know that the the density of hydrogen sulfide is equal to uh, sorry, one point thirty six kilogram per cubic meter. Okay. So what's happening is this egg here <clears throat> has trapped in its shell, the shell of the egg, so the gas is trapped inside of the shell. Okay. So, <clears throat> so if I have to put, because that is a kilogram per meter cube, per meter cube, so if I have to put that one in the same unit, that will be uh, 1,331 kilogram per meter cube, <clears throat> and the water will be almost equal to a thousand kilogram 
per meter cube. So let's consider our egg here having uh, eighty percent of its of its content at uh, fresh state, and then twenty percent of its content on the expired state. Okay, no, 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 decomposed state, decomposed state. Okay. So what's gonna happen? We all know that for something to float at the surface of water, its density need to be <coughs> need to be lower, lesser okay than the density of water okay so what's happening is the density of fresh egg which is zero a thousand one thousand thirty one kilogram per meter cube is above the density of water at normal temperature. When you talk about normal temperature, we're talking about temperature between 18 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius or 22 degrees Celsius, more or less 5 degrees Celsius. This is as per ASME, okay, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, and <clears throat> ISO, the European Standards. Okay, so since those eggs, those fresh eggs, has, are having a density above the density of water, so they found themselves at the bottom of the tank. And then, since these ones here, what we're gonna find out, they have a density <coughs> uh, lower than the one of the water, then they, they find themselves at the surface of water. So let's say 100% and then 80% of it is, a, is still at good state. So the density of these ones 40 will be, let's say, uh, <coughs> egg expired, will be equal to 1031 <coughs> multiplied by 80 percent divided by 100 plus 1.36 kilogram per meter cube multiplied by 20 divided by, divided by 100. This will be equal to 824.8 plus, that will give me 0.272. Okay, so the total will be equal to 825.07 kilogram per cubic meter. <coughs> so we realize that. This density is lower to a density of water, which is equal to a thousand kilogram per meter cube. So this is the reason why your eggs are at the surface of water. This is why they are not sinking. Okay. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this with you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Don't forget to share if you feel like you need to share with other people. Don't forget, don't forget to like the video if you like the video. And uh, please, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Right? I want to ask you to take care of yourself. But before that, listen. If you want to know how you can put your egg at the expired state, give me a message. Send me a message. Let me know because my contacts are there on my channel. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you, or I'm going to explain to you how we can do this, okay? So it takes time though, but uh, look, I had to explain this though. So for now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself and uh, bye, see you in the next video.